An AR with a totally unique attachment arrives in Black Ops Cold War. But is it good enough to become part of the Season 6 meta? The Grav. Coming up. Hey, what is going on, fellas? It's Favstar. Well, with the recent hard nerf to the EM2, I'm sure many of you are wondering if the brand new AR, the Grav, will be strong enough to pick up where the EM2 left off and be the dominant AR in Season 6. In today's video, I'll break down all of the important weapon stats, and then we'll build the perfect attachment loadout, which will help you unlock the full potential of the Grav. The in-game description tells us that the Grav is a full-auto assault rifle with improved range, fast bullet velocity, moderate damage, and moderate recoil. As always, we'll begin by analyzing the base weapon without any attachments to see how it stacks up against its peers. The Grav has low damage but good range, and within 50 meters will deal 32 damage anywhere on the body and 44 to the head. Beyond 50 meters, the damage drops off and you'll only deal 28 damage to the body and 39 for headshots. As a result, the Grav requires 5 body shots to kill up close and 6 at long range. Headshots provide a 1.4x multiplier and are somewhat effective, but you'll need two headshots in order to produce the required shots to kill within the Grav's maximum damage range. The rate of fire is good at 750 rounds per minute, which is slightly above average in the AR category. The low damage is slightly offset by the faster fire rate and combined to produce a time to kill of 320 milliseconds up close and a hypothetical time to kill of 400 milliseconds at long range in the unlikely event you're able to land all your shots to the body. In terms of bullet velocity, the Grav is best in class with a default bullet velocity of 743 meters per second. When it comes to mobility, the Grav behaves as expected and you'll move at the assault rifle standard movement speeds. The sprint out time is 330 milliseconds, which is slower than average, and the aim down sight time is 300, which is standard amongst the AR class. In terms of accuracy, the idle sway is minimal and should be acceptable at almost any range. The recoil is quite strong, pulling up and to the left for the first few rounds before correcting back to center. Hip fire is average when compared to the assault rifle class and should prove adequate when you're caught by surprise in close quarters. In the ammo category, the Grav is top tier. The default magazine capacity of 35 rounds is the largest default magazine size amongst the AR class. The reload time, however, is average and requires 2.4 seconds to replace the magazine when topping up. The Grav base weapon provides excellent bullet velocity and a good magazine capacity, but its low damage and high recoil limits its potential. Before we even begin to choose our attachment loadout, we'll discuss one very unique trait of the Grav. The Grav is the only AR in the game which has two attachments which offer a damage boost. As with all assault rifles, the 6th barrel, and in this case the Task Force, provides a 6% damage boost. And in addition, the RK7 30 round conversion mag is the only AR mag which offers a damage boost and also provides an additional 6% of damage. However, even when combining both attachments, we'll still require the same amount of bullets to kill within the maximum damage range and require only one less bullet at long range. 
There is a slight benefit, however, in terms of headshots, and you'll now require only one headshot to reduce the required shots to kill up close when using both of the damage boosting attachments. Since most engagements will be within the grav's maximum damage range, and since the higher recoil makes headshots problematic at best, the damage boosting properties won't be a big enough benefit to justify selecting either of these two attachments. Since it's not possible to increase damage and improve time to kill up close, we'll use our attachment slots to build a formidable mid-range weapon designed to engage enemies beyond the maximum damage range of SMGs and some assault rifles. My first attachment selection is an optic and can be chosen based on personal preference. The Microflex LED provides a 1.25 zoom level and will help maintain target clarity during mid-range engagements. This can be swapped out for the Axial Arms 3X, which is better suited to maps with longer lines of sight. The rear sight of the default iron sights on the Grav are very obstructive, especially when combined with high recoil. Using an optical attachment will provide clear vision, allowing you to track your target even at longer engagement distances. Our next attachment comes from the muzzle category. The Agency Suppressor provides 100% muzzle flash concealment and improved vertical recoil control at the expense of reduced effective damage range and bullet velocity. Since the Grav has good range and best-in-class bullet velocity, we can afford to take a reduction in these two stats in exchange for the Agency Suppressor, which keeps us off radar and provides much needed improvement to our vertical recoil, allowing us to land more shots on target. Our next attachment comes from the underbarrel category. The Field Agent Grip provides both vertical and horizontal recoil control at the expense of reduced shooting movement speed. Gaining a benefit to both horizontal and vertical recoil allows us to tackle mid to long range enemies. The reduction of the shooting movement speed will actually serve as a benefit in this regard, reducing the likelihood that we'll stray off target. The 50 round mag will provide a large boost to our magazine capacity and ammo reserves, with the only downside being a slight reduction to our reload speed. Since we require 5 rounds to kill up close, the 50 round mag will be a welcome addition, providing ample ammo for tackling groups of enemies, even at longer ranges. Our final attachment comes from the stock category. The Raider stock provides a large improvement to our sprint to fire time and our aim walking movement speed, with a reduction to our hip fire performance. The 30% boost to our sprint to fire time will help offset our low damage and give us a fighting chance in shorter range head-to-head -head gunfights. And since we'll be relying on our secondary for close range engagements, the 30% reduction to our hip fire spread should go largely unnoticed. That's my build for the Grav Assault Rifle, a build designed to maximize the weapon's potential for mid to long range gunfights. The key to success when using the Grav is playing with a much more passive playstyle, treating it almost like an LMG by engaging distant enemies and avoiding close range gunfights whenever possible. Despite its low damage and longer time to kill, once equipped with the correct attachments, the Grav can become quite viable at mid to long range and provide some much needed weapon variety in the AR class. Of course, this is all just my opinion, and I'd like to hear from you guys. What is your preferred loadout for the Grav, and what playstyle do you use to use it effectively? Let me know in the comments section down below, and if you enjoyed the video, remember to leave a like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.